Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be working on my BMW E90 320D today. Now, I've been having some error codes with regards to the DPF, the diesel particulate filter, and I've had a few uh, warnings pop up on the iDrive as well. Now, before I go too much in depth, you know, before I try to remove the uh, filter itself and try to clean it out or whatever, I think what I'm going to do is just request a regeneration. Now I have uh, tried to do an automatic regeneration. You know, I've driven on the motorway for like 20 to 30 minutes at a high RPM. So the exhaust, the DPF should be getting hot enough. I know the glow plugs are working as they should and the thermostat is working as it should as well. So I've met all the parameters for a regeneration to take place so i really don't know why it hasn't uh, why it hasn't happened so i think yeah i think we're going to get ista hooked up today and request a regeneration take it for a drive see if it does regenerate and, uh, and then i guess we'll see what our findings are but without further ado let's get outside and let's get cracking okay so we're in the car now and i've just noticed the fuel situation i only have just over a quarter of a tank so i'm going to get some fuel it's a good idea to have around half a tank of fuel when requesting a regeneration. I can't remember the exact amount that you need, if it's 10 liters, 20 liters, a quarter of a tank. I can't really remember, but you don't want to be low on fuel when you request a regeneration. So yeah, let's go and get some fuel. Then we will load up Ista on the laptop and then we will start the regeneration process. So as you can see, I have just over half a tank of fuel now, which is perfect. I have the decan connected up to the laptop which already has ISTA loaded up and I've already read out the fault memory, I've already done the identification step and now what we're going to want to do is go to vehicle management, service functions, powertrain, DDE, digital diesel electronics, diesel particulate filter, regeneration of diesel particulate filter and then to the right here, ABL, diesel particulate filter request gener re re request regeneration. So I'll double click on that. So some of the important parameters to note is that we need to have the coolant temperature reach at least 75 degrees Celsius, which I know this does. The thermostat is working as it should. And the exhaust gas temperature before, oh, just on cue particulate filter possible to continue journey possible reduction in engine power have the problem checked by your bmw service that is hopefully what we're going to try to rectify today but yeah what was i saying then uh fuel tank must contain at least 10 liters so yeah it is just 10 liters but obviously it's a good idea to have uh more uh the optimum effect of the regeneration is achieved when the vehicle is operated for approximately 20 minutes at a constant speed of at least 60 kilometers per hour after regeneration has started. Uh, experience shows that the best regeneration results are obtained from cross-country driving, so essentially on a motorway, on a highway or whatever. But yeah, that's as far as I want to go with that, so we will just click continue, and then we should have three options request regeneration readout regeneration status or end service function i've already previously read out the regeneration status i know that the last regeneration was over 2000 kilometers ago i don't know if that is a long time be between regenerations or not but we will just go ahead straight away and request a regeneration Read out information required about the fault shown below in the fault memory. Uh, following fault code are stored for the tested function component group. Yes, I know. Uh, at least one of the following fault codes is stored. The exhaust gas pressure is too high. The diesel particulate filter can only be regenerated during an extended drive with the vehicle. This fault pattern will initiate a special process in the vehicle as soon as the as soon as the fault no longer occurs. The diesel a digital electronics unit will automatically perform a normal regeneration time required approximately 45 minutes. Driving profile moderate driving at constant speed greater than 60 km per hour. Drive on rural roads. 
the service function must then be carried out again check under status regeneration whether the regeneration was successful that's interesting so it's just asking me to drive for 45 minutes on the motorway and just do a regular regeneration which I mean I've done I'd say the best part of that I'd say I've done a good half an hour at high revs motorway journey let's read out the regeneration status yeah like I said last regeneration was done over 2,000 kilometers ago interesting interesting then I thought it was going to give me the option to force a regen and visually be able to see you know how the regeneration was uh, progressing but I guess not it's just asking me to you know just drive it under normal regeneration conditions so yeah I guess I'm going to do just that I'm just going to drive on the motorway for a good 45 minutes and uh, yeah, I guess go from there. I'll probably drive it in like fourth gear, try and keep it about 3,000 RPM, get the uh, get the engine nice and warm, get the exhaust nice and warm, and hopefully, hopefully that does the trick. But yeah, a bit strange actually. Okay, so here's how we're currently looking, just sitting around 60 mile an hour in fourth gear at two and a half thousand RPM. So the exhaust should be getting nice and warm now. But yeah, like I said, just gonna do this for a good 45 minutes or so, and then see if we have requested a regeneration. Okay, so just got back and yeah, driven for around 45, 50 minutes, and I actually driven it pretty damn hard. Like I, I was going way above two and a half thousand RPM. I was going more between three and 4,000 RPM. So for sure, the DPF should have got hot enough to do a regeneration. I noticed on the iDrive, the fault code didn't clear, but obviously we haven't turned it off yet, so that could clear. Um, but I'm gonna try and reset the codes on ISTA as well. But yeah, first thing we need to do is switch it off. I'm just hoping that we did do a regen because like I said that just took an hour and they must have burnt through a decent amount of fuel I think we was averaging like less than 40 mpg on the motorway so yeah we did we did for sure burn through some fuel insert key switch ignition on let's see if we have the fault code on the iDrive still no faults on there just resetting the uh, faults on ISTA right now. Okay, so apparently we still have a fault code for the particulate filter system. I'm gonna try and go into the service functions again, see if we can request a regeneration, see what happens this time. Let's read out the regeneration status and see if we did just have a regeneration. No, we didn't. What a complete waste of time that was. Last one was over 2,000 kilometers again. So for whatever reason, it's not regenerating, which is very frustrating. Okay, so we're gonna try one more thing then. We're in the control unit tree, DDE, call up ECU functions, and we should be able to see if the regeneration has been requested. So, component triggering, uh, no, not component triggering, diagnosis scan, exhaust emission system, I'm gonna enable all of these, uh, yeah. And read state. So, uh, yeah, so the regeneration has been enabled. It's not active yet though, but I'm gonna take for another drive, 
get that exhaust temperature before the cat up to 240 degrees Celsius, which I'm pretty sure it needs to be at, and then we'll see if anything happens then. Exhaust temps before the cat, clearly over 240 degrees Celsius and still not regenerating. So annoying. So just got back again from another long drive and it turns out we have a second permanent DPF fault with the exhaust back pressure sensor. So could our issue lie with the back pressure sensor? Possibly. But I am honestly so frustrated right now. I'm that frustrated that my hair has fell out, as, you, as you've probably noticed. Um, but no, seriously, I'm very frustrated and this is why I just don't like DPFs at all. If I was keeping this car and not selling it on, then I would just completely remove the DPF along with the EGR because they really are the death of diesel cars, modern diesel cars today. It's really just not worth the bother. I mean, in practice, um, you know, in theory, I should say, a DPF is a great idea. Yes, it cuts down the uh, particulates that are let out into the atmosphere and are breathed in uh, by humans but in in practice it's honestly really not worth the bother once a car gets to like 10 years old you're going to have so many dpf faults and that's why so many people just tend to get rid of it i mean i've just spent the past best part of two hours and probably like 10 liters of fuel driving up and down the motorway trying to uh, unblock this dpf and like we're still no better off so like, what is the point in having a system in place that you need to drive the car hard with and then you need to burn so much extra fuel anyway just to try and burn off the carbon or the soot that is that has been collected in the filter in the first place i don't know i really just don't agree with it like i said it works in theory but in practice when a car gets a certain age it's really not worth having in place it puts so much extra stress on your engine on your turbo and yeah you just end up using so much extra fuel so i don't know people will have their different opinions of course and of course guys i respect your opinions as well so if you do have anything else to add on the matter then please do leave some comments down below look forward to reading those but yeah i'm really going to leave this here you know, I am going to do some, I am going to have to do some more investigating now. Um, this video was supposed to be how to request a regeneration uh, using ISTA. Um, and I kind of have gone through the steps. So if you are watching this um, and you don't have any faults, you know, and your, your car is regenerating as it should, then yeah, hopefully this video has been helpful. But I'm going to leave this here. Like I said, I've got some work to do. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you all in that next one. Peace.